In today's video, I'm going to show you a simple way to create this starry blur effect for your photos in Photoshop, and then I also want to show you something more advanced to get this dreamy effect. So let's jump right into it. Alright, so I'm going to start with this photo right here. Let's go to Select, then Color Range, and from this drop-down menu we can choose the highlights. Then let's tweak the range slider to pick how much of the bright areas we want to select, and then hit OK. With the highlights selected, press Command or Control plus J twice on your keyboard to create two duplicate layers out of the selection. For the first layer, let's go to Filter, Blur, then Motion Blur. Here, adjust the distance value depending on how long you want the blurred highlights to be. Make sure you set the angle to 45 degrees. Now, for the second layer, we're going to apply the same effect by going to Filter, Blur, and then Motion Blur. Keep the same distance value, but the angle is going to be minus 45 degrees. And that's pretty much the quick and easy way to get this result. Let's try it on another photo. So again, go to Select, then Color Range, here select the highlights, and adjust the range. I want to choose only the lights in the background, so I'm going to increase the value like this, and then hit OK. Create two duplicate layers using Command or Control plus J, then go to Filter, Blur, and Motion Blur. Let's decrease the value a little. The angle for the first layer is going to be minus 45 degrees. And for the second layer, same thing. Apply Motion Blur, but we're going to choose the angle to be 45 degrees, and we're done. Now let me show you a more advanced way to apply this dreamy effect. Let's switch over to this photo for that. Before we continue with the video, I'd love to introduce you to something we've been working on here at Creative Society, and that's our music. Music plays a huge role in the creative process, so we've been crafting sounds specifically to help you stay focused and be inspired. Our two main genres, lo-fi and chill wave, both of which are proven to enhance focus and spark creativity, support your workflow, mood, and momentum. You can find our songs on all streaming platforms, just check out the link in the description to start listening. Now back to our video, first, create a copy of the photo. Then, we need to select the highlights again using color range. For this image, I'm going to take a little more time to make sure I get a precise selection of the highlights. Once you've made your selection, click the mask button at the bottom. Then, convert the layer into a smart object. So now we've isolated the highlights and turned them into a smart object, which means we can easily edit them later. Create a copy of that smart object. On the first one, we're going to apply the motion blur. Choose a value for the distance and set the angle to 45. And now you can modify these settings and even copy them to the second layer by holding Option or Alt and dragging the effect to the other layer. I'm just going to double click on motion blur and change the angle to negative 45 degrees. If you want to make this even brighter, change the blend mode to screen for both layers. Now let's go back to the background layer, create a copy of it, and convert that into a smart object as well. To achieve that dreamy effect, go to Filter and Filter Gallery. Inside, head to the Distort section and choose Diffuse Glow. This adds a soft, glowing look, and you can customize it using these sliders for graininess, glow amount, and clear amount. And I'll land on graininess set to 9, glow amount on 7, and clear amount to be 16. Once you're happy with it, hit OK and remember, since it's a smart filter, you can always come back and adjust it later. I think the effect is a little too strong, so I'm going to lower the opacity to around 65%. You can see how all of these effects come together to create this before and after. Don't forget to visit the Creative Society website for design resources, music, and more. If you want to continue learning, check out this other video on the screen. Thank you, and see you next time. This is Creative Society.